Hey everybody, welcome to part 6 of our Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory on PC, any percent uh, game playthrough. Uh, last episode we did the Agrabah? Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, last episode we did Agrabah, so we're still in that same ring of worlds, and we have uh, one more world to do here before we move on. And that is going to be Halloween Town, so time to go listen to some cool spooky music. And, um... Yeah, again, I mean, I, I don't think we really need to uh, beat a dead horse by explaining anything again. These episodes are so short that, uh... I, I, I don't really want to, like, explain the game every time just to fill up more seconds, so... Let's just go ahead and dive on in and get right to it. So, here we are, World Tour, Halloween Town. Uh, so, this is Halloween. So, the, the, I, I mentioned this last episode. So, I call this the, the field music because this is what plays in the world when you're just casually strolling through. This game has a different definition of what a field uh, song is, but... Not gonna get, not gonna stress that too much. Sixty percent higher, good or better ratings. That's way easier than the excellence. Uh, missed twenty-two times or fewer. Clear with half your HP, but you can't use items. Um, this shouldn't be too bad. And if it is, we'll drop to beginner. Tell you on proud mode, this uh, these songs are freaking brutal in this world. No, no full chain, but we should have uh, cleared the missions with relative ease there. Alright, um, score is looking good. I'm pretty sure we got it. Alright, so... So see, the game calls this a field battle song. I just call it a field song. So this is now available in track selection. And how do we do? We got it. Nice. Uh, story scene number 10 from Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. Platinum grade. Reward for collecting 2,800 rhythm points. And with that... 
That's actually the, um... That's actually the last gate for the Kingdom Hearts 1 section of worlds. Well, the last one that's unlocked by stars, I think, anyway. So, let's move on to uh, Spooks of Halloween Town, the, the world's uh, battle music in the original game. Alright, so we must specifically defeat 50% of the White Knight enemy. Not 50% of all enemies, but we have to destroy more than half of the White Knights, which are the, uh, the Mummy Heartless. Uh, 5,400,000 point score requirement. And we must defeat all multi-attack enemies. So we can't. So anything where it's like two or three buttons we get to hit at the same time, we can't miss those. All right, let's do it. Really? Really? Alright, whatever. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and do this, and then we'll do that stupid fucking thing on Beginner. Because I'm hitting the button, and it's, like, giving me a hard time here. Alright, so this song is now available in track selection. Yeah, see? Bullshit. But now... Alright, so Frost Shard, a material obtained for clearing all songs in this world. So... Na na at least now you can see the difference. So complete means you've cleared both songs and you've done all the missions. And then clear just means you cleared the songs, but the missions aren't done. So let's go ahead back into this. 
Now, defeat all multi-attack enemies. Luckily, this does not set a, uh, a difficulty, so I am going to go down to beginner and try this. Because I'm getting a little annoyed that I did press the button right with the other one, and the timing was just being that finicky. So let's see if we can just blow through this on beginner and be done with it. And then, of course, for the next song, we'll switch back to uh, standard. That'll be next episode, anyway. There we go. That's better. All right, so we got a writhing shard. Uh, we got eleven writhing shards. Excuse me for uh, collecting three thousand rhythm points. I am going to uh, pop in here just to switch that back to standard because that should carry over for the next selection. All right, so this ring of worlds is done. Um, we are still in Kingdom Hearts One Final Mix territory, but we can move on to the uh, next ring. And here we have uh, Olympus Coliseum, Neverland, and Monstro to pick from. So, next episode we'll do one of those worlds. Uh, our key art collector level increased to level 2, so we've obtained uh, 8 key art cards. Item drop rate increased, which is always good. Um, Keyblade collector level, we're on the board at level 1, so all character strength increased by 2. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure how strength actually plays a factor in this game, but, you know, but whatever. Alright, so... what did we get? We got Key Art 42. And 54. Uh, Station of Awakening, we still got nothing. Um, story scene cards, I know we picked up at least one new one. I think. Ah, there it is. So this iconic scene when Sora sacrificed himself to turn into a Heartless and then Kairi was able to somehow bring him back. I believe that's our only new one, right? Yeah. yeah, that's definitely the only new one. Alright, um, character cards... Who do we get?
All right, we got Jasmine and we got the uh, Peddler. Did we get either of those in Platinum? We did not. That should, yeah, that should definitely be it. Um, platinum, do we get any new ones? Okay, I know we got at least uh, one new Keyblade. So this is one of the uh, Keyblades that was in 358 over two days, but of course, this wasn't shown in the uh, the HD cutscene collection. This was a usable Keyblade for Roxas and Shion in the playable DS version. Same with uh, Omega Weapon. Alright, uh, I, I think I'm gonna be indecisive and change my mind again. I, I think I think we are gonna like not come to the collection every episode. We'll do it when we re so we're not gonna check out the collection screen again until we reach the end of the Kingdom Hearts 1 portion of this game. Then we'll check it again at the end of Rechain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, so on and so forth. Um anyway, so yeah, when we come back for the next episode, we'll do uh, one of these three worlds. We'll clear this ring, and then we'll move on and clear this ring, and that'll be that'll actually be it for the uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 worlds. So, right, that's the end of the Kingdom Hearts 1 worlds. What's this? Okay, that's a boss level. We'll get to that later. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, that's an, a ring of worlds done. Uh, I, I think we're still cruising along pretty nicely. I mean, considering how long it's been since I played this game, like before starting this Let's Play, I, I figured I would have already like had to redo a bunch of uh, missions by now. But again, I've been pretty uh, pretty fortunate so far. So hopefully we can keep that streak going at least until we get into the uh, the later Kingdom Hearts 2 worlds. Um, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the game so far, and until next time, may your heart be your guiding key.